So why do some reality moments cut through more than others? OK, I'm a Gemini. Literally my favourite line from any reality show ever. Comedian. Comedy always wins. She's clever, she's funny, she's beautiful. Very, very clever. One line, you remember her. He'll remember her. And as a viewer, you remember her. One line. It's brilliant. OK, it's great TV, but what's real? What's fake? Can reality shows create villains out of nothing? We're not that clever. We can't get you to do something if you're not doing it. It's very difficult. You never see yourself as you are, and you never see yourself 24 hours a day. And you think that everyone will love you, but I'm pretty much 99% certain they won't. So who was responsible for Abby's reputation crisis? What if she was actually a villain? There was only one way to find out. Ask her. Hi, I'm Abby, and I was the villain on The Bachelor. First things first, we needed to get to the bottom of the Gemini moment. Should I tell you the real story? Should I tell you the story that I've told the media for the last year? The tell us story. the real story. <laughs> so, obviously, the Gemini thing, whatever, haha, it's a bit of fun. It wasn't the worst edit in the world. But my sister is to blame, to be fair, because she was like, listen, if you have nothing to say, ask him what his star sign is. Walked up to Matt. We were talking for a bit. And then when he said it was an astrophysicist, I was like, and now is my chance. And I was like, I looked around to the crew and I was like, I know this isn't the same thing. And then I said, what's your star sign? And then he said, I'm a Leo. And then I said, OK, I'm a Gemini. And then I said, as long as you're on a Capricorn. And then he was like, ha, 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 ha. But that's actually the that's conversation as it happened. Uh -huh. So, like, it's fine. Like, it's... And it's, like, a funny thing. Like, it's not the worst thing in the world. But, yeah, that's... It was edited really well. Abby, why did you decide to go on The Bachelor? <sighs> I mean, look... This was the moment it would have been really convenient to frame Abby as someone who had trashed her own reputation in a desperate grab at 15 minutes of fame. I was dating a guy who was Scottish. But Abby just wasn't playing ball. Instead, she told us kind of a long story about how she was actually looking for romance. The next best thing was just to see if The Bachelor was auditioning, so I applied for The Bachelor kind of as a joke with my housemate. Abby wasn't giving us any easy answers. Annoying. How do reality producers get people to reveal more about themselves? What would you say to me if you wanted me to reveal more about myself? Lazy producing uh, will take the first answer. So, so say this is the X Factor and you walk in and I will say to you, Zoe, darling, how are you feeling today? I people feel really say, nervous. I'm nervous but excited. I'm nervous but excited. People say the same things all the time. I really want to win this. Can they give it 110%? I'm nervous but excited. Uh, you know, it's not my time to go, white noise. Now, if you're a really bad producer, you'll go, brilliant, OK, thank you so much. Next question. Now, if you're a good producer, you'll say, why, why are you nervous? You go, I've never sung in public before. All right, this is your first time singing in public. Ding, start the story. You go in and then you talk about your childhood trauma with the producers and they ask you, and the question was, we've heard what makes you laugh, but what makes you cry? Interesting. This was all starting to sound a tad familiar. People cry because they're tired. I mean, if you really want someone to cry, I mean, generally, you can see if someone is on the verge of tears. And uh, when I was a journalist, I was trained as a journalist, uh, my old boss said, if you want someone to cry and they're on the verge of tears, you will say to them, are you all right? Oh, that does make me want to cry. 